So we're out to take a look at a new project I'm gonna help a friend out with. This is a old snowmobile trailer. He uh, picked this up off Craigslist for 175 bucks. His intention is to basically strip off all the wood, clean up all the metal, and then I'm gonna help him shrink it up a little bit. We're gonna take probably about a foot out of the overall width. The ultimate goal is to get it ready for a small dinghy sailboat. But overall, it seems like the bones are pretty good. It just needs a little bit of cleanup and we should be good to go. All right, so this is the sailing dinghy. This is a nine foot Ranger. Now it turns out it's actually 50 years old. He bought it brand new and used it uh, quite a bit back when he bought it. So we'll get that trailer uh, reshaped and rebuilt to really fit this on there nicely so we can get it right down close to the water, be able to use it uh, a lot more effectively. Well, the trailer has arrived in the shop. Um, <laughs> He went ahead and removed all the wooden decking, uh, some of the metal parts off the back once the wood was removed. For what this trailer is going to be used for, we're just we're just trying to keep the cost of the rebuild down as low as possible. So it doesn't make sense to go put five thousand dollars into a trailer for something that isn't really necessary. So we're going to salvage what we can and put it back together and get it ready to tow that sailboat around. say that there's not much left of this trailer would be an understatement. We removed all the wooden decking and all the rotted out metal and there's really not much left to the trailer. The metal that is here is rusty but it's it's good shape still. Needs a little wire brush and we can re-shape it to what we need. However, uh, the buddy that I'm helping out with this trailer did come over and take a look at this today while I was at work and he has decided that he's going to go get some uh, new to us metal that's been, uh, basically it's, it's new metal, it's just been sitting outside in a storage rack for quite a few years, so it's a little rusty, but it's still new. And we're basically going to rebuild the entire framework of the trailer, which means from the leaf springs down to the axle, we're going to save. I'm going to shorten up the axle tonight. And then that long center member that goes up to the towing hitch, or the tongue, uh, we're also going to save. So we're basically going to unbolt that. There's two bolts and this uh, structural part comes off. So this is always the part I'm reluctant to do is cut the axle, but I've done it a couple different times and this one's pretty straightforward. Basically, I found the center of the axle. We're going to take out 16 inches, so I measured 8 inches to left and right. And we'll just make sure that mark goes around all the way. Some take the tires off. So I got this thing chucked up in my three legged Mary. Um, Working on down on the ground bent over sucks, so get it up here so I can stand up and grind on it just a little bit better.
our 16 inch piece gone. So we've got this nice gap. We're gonna go ahead and put a couple tacks. I'm gonna do one at the bottom on each side and then uh, to maybe two on the corners. And then we'll start weaving this together and stitching this together and filling it up. It'll go pretty quick at the MIG gun, so let's throw some tacks on there and get it stitched up. So our double plates are gonna go from the bottom of this rolled edge down. So they won't be over this rolled edge on the top. So I'm gonna do another pass just across the top here to bring this area up nice and thick. And we're gonna keep the ones on the side down below flush. These Devler plates are just gonna cover this side up. I gotta fill a little hole there, but they go on just like this. And we'll weld all the way around. I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this one up at this point. Basically, we got that old trailer, realized we had to replace almost all the parts on it. We were able to use the axle, so we went ahead and trunk that up, and that's what you're seeing here. We are gonna use the tongue from the trailer, but all the new stuff will be fabricated on the next upcoming videos. We will have fabrication of the trailer, wiring, and installation of the supports for the new trailer. I really hope you guys enjoyed this one. I hope you got some useful information out of it, but check out the follow-on videos, and we'll have a lot more good stuff to come. Until next time, thanks for watching. Here's a little sneak peek of the upcoming trailer build.